Okay, so now in GTube or OGTube is in, and we did the bubble study. We hear it's in the epigastrium. <clears throat> we hear the bubbles in the epigastrium with our stethoscope, and then we have not used it. We're still waiting for confirmation with a chest x ray. How do we confirm a chest x ray? Let's take some examples. That's some that's how we're going to confirm it let's we look at the x-ray and decide if it's in good position or not as you see this is a perfect ng tube positioning and let me show you why first of all the main concern with ng tube placement the whole point of doing x-ray is first to make sure it's not sitting in the lungs and the next thing make sure it's in the stomach so the stomach is right here and you see this thin line here let me just put arrows just follow these arrows this is the line let me just zoom in maybe see this thin line here this is the ng tube as you see it's going straight it's crossing the carina here the carina i think right here it's crossing in the middle going straight and then cross crossing the diaphragm very important which means the ge gastroesophageal junction and is going into the stomach and sitting right here on the um, left side on the of, of the x-ray which is this is a pre pylorus mainly position this is perfect positioning why because it's crossing the carina in the middle and then crossing the diaphragm and sitting and we see the tips the tip of the tube so if I can write something in this x-ray that it's crossing carina centrally crossing diaphragm and we see tips the tip of the ng tube so that's very important so this is a perfect positioning and this is another x-ray and as you see here um the this is the ng or og we don't know and as you see it's kind of cold in the carina here and then going into the right mainstem bronchus it's not crossing the car in the middle and passing and it's not crossing the diaphragm so this should be removed immediately this is another x-ray and it's kind of really similar it's coming here and on the carina it's coiling and going onto the left main stem and as you see this opaque material this is in some types of ng tube mainly in ku feeds or small ng tubes small soft ng tubes because they have a stylus to insert them um, and then they have this opaque material just to easily identify it on x-ray so when you see this this is mainly for nutrition and feeding and not for suctioning okay this is another x-ray actually a typical icu x-ray i don't know how uh, clear for you but there is a bunch of stuff but let's find the ng tube so here you see this is a thin tube here but you see it ends the tip right here maybe four centimeters or three centimeters above the carina so this is et tube right and it seems in good position while you see let me change the color there is a thin line here see this it's parallel to the et tube what's crossing the carina parallel to the carina or above the carina going straight it's right here and it's it's perfect so far perfect perfect the diaphragm this patient has pleural fusion but the diaphragm literally right here i guess 
so it's crossing the diaphragm it's perfect the only things is not perfect is what we don't see the tip right so ideally we should either have a better shot x-ray to see the tip maybe upper abdominal x-ray or lower the field of the chest x-ray when we do it again um, so we can see the tip or you retract uh, the tube and be careful with that because it, it seems it's ending right there of course with the clinical experience this probably if it's functioning well and no problem i would have left it in because it seems this patient is really sick and um, other stuff here we could see well we just do so this pass the test for a perfect position of ng tube except that we don't see the tip and here you have to use your clinical rationale but as an intern or resident you want to be perfect in this so you can repeat an upper abdominal x-ray and try to see where is the tip and if it's not a good position then you can retract or advance every time you retract or advance please repeat a chest x-ray don't rely on the bubble test at least in your early clinical life until you get enough experience so that bottom of line every time there is a change in position get a chest x-ray while we're here let's see what is this and um, you see there's a thicker line here going here from the right side of the neck and going here here entering seems the right atrium and then the it's going through the right ventricle and it's it seems getting into the pulmonary artery this is a swan gans catheter or pulmonary artery catheter also what is this here look there is an opaque material let me change the color again there is an opaque material here see this one and it's coming if you want to follow it's coming from right here see it's coming all the way down here 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 see this see this see this this and this opaque material and if you want to follow it it's basically follow just the yellow and see this is thick right here i don't know if you can see it um, and then there is an opaque material here and it seems it's ending in the left ventricle this is the left ventricle this is the right ventricle and this left ventricle this is an LVAD temporary LVAD or impeller device and seems in good position as well the last thing I want to show you um, uh, see this thick catheter here see this one and this one ending here ending here ending here see it's ending at the tip where the superior vena cava uh, just above the right atrium and see it's kind of crossing with the swan whenever you see a thick catheter like this and this is a lift ij catheter and this is a dialysis a temporary dialysis catheter just go back and watch my videos on the central venous catheters in general so that's all remember for ng tube cross carina central position like in the middle I say central position in the middle like this cross diaphragm and see the tip okay this is another x-ray as you see this a good ng tube placement in terms of its central crossing the carina and going down here crossing the diaphragm the only thing it's barely in the stomach i would like to see it here in this area so this probably needs to be pushed or advanced by three to four centimeter and then repeat hs x-ray so hopefully these examples makes it clear for you when you look an x-ray how to confirm this positioning